Henry put a score out for IMDb. I was wondering why there was no scores despite the movie had been out for like, you know, a day because of the first day previews. Guess what? This is like the score to make so that's like the Rise of Skywalker, that's like Captain Marvel, that's like Turning Red, that's like, uh, you know, you know, most modern Marvel releases. This score is going to drop, obviously, but Disney tried and tried all they want. By basically making IMDb delete negative reviews of The Real Mermaid. Because, oh, you can't criticize this movie or else you'd be called racist. That type of stuff. Because you're not allowed to criticize the Disney remakes. Because that, because they, because basically they were allowed to get away with the Lion King and the Aladdin remake. But there was still enough Disney fanboys to keep the sky high, the score high enough. Enough. But, will it work this time? I'm assuming the score will drop. Because they don't want this to happen again. Peter Pan and Wendy. 4.1 4.1 out of 10. Go to right year score. Okay. Abysmal score. 6.1 out of 10. Quantumania. Okay. You can go to Quantumania. 6.2 out of 10. And Disney does not want to be seeing these scores on the movies. Of course. Disney wants to be immune from criticism. Some... Of the garbage movies. Okay. I haven't seen the World Mermaid remake. But most people say it's garbage. It's trash. It's not worth watching. But Disney. They have all the paid sales. To give the movie good reviews. They're similar to the Lion King remake. Okay. Everyone. Most people I know. You like trash this movie. Most people online. Trash this movie. Most people don't have good things to say. But apparently. The average score is a 6.8 out of 10. Same spicy. But it's also very similar to the Metacritic score. But again, you can go to the Aladdin remake, which is another really bad movie. Okay, another really bad movie. Okay, 6.9 out of 10, which is pretty funny. Okay, I don't know why Lion King remake is out of 2 out of 10, but I, I don't care. I don't care what IMDb scores anymore. But 6.9 out of 10, I highly doubt because people roasted this movie. Very similar to the Royal Mermaid and the Lion King and same thing with Mulan. Okay. Let's see what score Mulan has. Surprised with that 5.7 out of 10. Surprised that this is the O.R. to go that score that low. But realistically, the, all the Disney remakes will, should have around the same score. Because they're all garbage. They're all trash. Okay. But the funniest thing is the Royal Mermaid is getting the same type of treat, the same score... That both the Aladdin remake and the Lion King remake have. Despite people over online saying the movie's garbage. Okay. And again, there are a bunch of casual movie goers who are going to love this anyways. If you're a casual movie goer and you like this movie, then that's fine. But the fact that Disney purposely deleted the critic score, the audience score, because they didn't like the audience score and posted a Disney sale audience score. Because we looked at earlier today and there was no audience score. Which is odd, okay? And so happened similar to the Lion King remake and Aladdin remake, Quantumania, and Rise of Skywalker, and Turning Red. It always starts at 7 out of 10. Quantumania obviously dropped because Quantumania is a bad movie. Same thing right now. Strange World, I don't think there's even gave a shit about that movie. But I highly doubt that most people actually like this movie, okay? Here, yeah. the problem with the World Mermaid. What went wrong? Oh yeah, again, this is one. This this person gave books said Booksmart's like one of the best movies of all time, and this person said the problem with my this movie review, movie review, movie review, movie review. Something stinks. The negative reviews hidden for the Royal Mermaid gain hidden. Again, I don't really agree with like some of this guy's opinions, like the whole thing of Miss Marvel, but it is fishy. They did it. They did it on Rotten Tomatoes and they did it with IMDb. Okay, only on Metacritic. They're not hiding reviews. Okay. The greatest movie I never saw. The Royal Mermaid is worse than I thought. The Royal Mermaid is awful. The Royal Review is just not looking good. Yeah. Another terrible point was the Disney live action remake. No, no, so, so live action. Okay. How is the average score a 7 out of 10? If the, most people are not saying it's good. Most of the YouTube critics and some of them that says movie review. 
most of the reviews are going to be very similar. Okay, why is Disney doing everything they can, they can to change the Iron score? And they have done this since Captain Marvel. Okay, they did it with Aladdin. They did this with the you know Toy Story. Actually, people like Toy Story Four. That's different. Or they did this with, this with Aladdin, the Lion King remake. They did this with Quantumania, right? Yeah. Okay, but now Disney is trying to see, oh, you know what? We're gonna try everything we can to make sure our movies don't fail. Because Quantum Mania failed because people didn't like the movie. And this is going to try to make sure everything they can to make sure that their scores are not hidden. To make sure that the Real Mermaid remake has positive audience scores. So they're eager to afford the score, the, the sites of bots. Which means the INV score, which is generally the most trustworthy audience score, you know, cannot be trusted because you have all these Disney bots. Putting it with 7 to 8 out of 10 reviews and giving the movie good reviews because Disney cannot stand the fact that their garbage remakes, similar to the Lion King remake and Aladdin remake and Mulan remake, people don't like them. People don't like these movies, okay? Okay, I wouldn't be surprised if the box office is inflated. I hope that this movie bombs. I really do, okay? Th these remakes need to stop and Disney's. You know, foul play here with stuff like the Aladdin remake and the Lion King remake. And it's funny, now people are finally starting to talk about Disney rigging reviews on IMDb, you know, and Rotten Tomatoes and other sites because they can't stand the fact that people don't like their movies. And this all started with Captain Marvel because Disney couldn't stand the fact that people don't like this movie. Okay, why does it matter if people don't like Captain Marvel? Okay, Captain Marvel is not a good movie, anyways. But they did this with Captain Marvel, they did this with Rise of Skywalker, with you know, the frozen score, you know, and now they're starting to do this again with the Real Mermaid, because they can't accept that this movie is a failure. They could do it with Dial of Destiny too, wouldn't be too surprising as well. But yeah, that's the end of this video here, goodbye.